it's time to spotlight AI and its potential use in biopharma. Joining us now for analysis is Sal Hardy, equity analyst, CFRA Research. Sal, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. So let's talk about kind of use case. What's the use case that you see for biopharma when it comes to AI? Hi, Dan. Uh, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. So we expect essentially the recent advancements in artificial intelligence to significantly transform biopharmaceutical com companies in the long run. Uh, we think artificial intelligence is set to become a major disruptive technology in healthcare with the potential to significantly enhance productivity, reduce time spent in drug discovery, and also optimize manufacturing processes. Uh, we think the implementation of AI across biopharma can result in substantial cost savings, positively impacting revenue growth and margin expansion in the long run, especially in an environment of increasing risks for biopharmaceutical companies due to looming patent expirations and the implementation of the Inflation Reduction Act, we think AI can act as an important tailwind. So where we see, uh, I would say, the major impact is the drug development area. As you may know, drug development has traditionally been a lengthy and costly process. It necessitates considerable resources across different development phases, and it can cost between $1 to $2 billion and up to 15 years to develop and commercialize a new drug. And after this lengthy process is concluded, then the drug is sent for regulatory approval, which may take another year until the decision is made. Uh, we think AI can considerably accelerate scientific research, particularly by optimizing studies on large and challenging data sets with, by narrowing down, for example, possibilities and outcomes faster and increasing re efficiency in return. So let's talk about some of your picks within this space. Uh, in particular, we'll, we'll, we'll start with Eli Lilly. Uh, what's the thesis behind that? Especially when, when I think about Eli Lilly, I don't necessarily associate it, especially like recently with AI, I'm more associated with GLP-1s. Uh, but what's, uh, talk to us, you all have a strong buy rating on Eli Lilly. What's the thesis behind it, as especially its relationship to AI? Yes, that's a great question. So we think actually there are a number of good investment opportunities in biopharma pertaining to the AI theme as companies are already successfully leveraging AI in their processes. A number of US biopharmaceutical companies are focused on innovation, but we are particularly bullish on Eli Lilly and Amgen on that front. For Eli Lilly, we have a strong buy recommendation with a price target of $990. And what we see uh, that as very, uh, I would say, promising with Eli Lilly is the partnership with x Pi that it started last year, and also this year uh, with Isomorphic uh, Labs, uh, which is a subsidiary uh, of, um, of, of Alphabet. So we think mm -hmm. these uh, collaborations are very uh, powerful, and it will enhance and accelerate their drug discovery processes. And then let's talk about some of your other picks, uh, Amgen, and what else is on your list in terms of kind of the beneficiaries in the biopharma space for the proliferation of AI? Mm -hmm. So across our U.S. healthcare coverage, we are seeing strong interest to further integrate AI tools into various processes, and we're seeing a number of collaborations with large technology companies such as Alphabet and NVIDIA. Uh, for Amgen, for example, uh, we have a, a buy recommendation and our price target is $357. Uh, what we found very interesting and innovative was that the company put in place an AI vision focused on both external and internal company goals. Uh, the company is also collaborating with NVIDIA to build sophisticated AI models to enhance drug discovery. Okay, uh, and then uh, let's talk about, you talked about it kind of just being uh, disruptor, uh, a disruptor AI, um, the expansion of it within this space, within biopharma. Is it just because like, is it just because every company has to integrate AI now? Remember last year, we started having these conversations, all these companies just started mentioning, even like beverage companies, food companies started mentioning it on their earnings call. And it's like, well, you know, is it really ne necessary in that space? Can it really be disruptive from your view uh, within biopharma? So the use of artificial intelligence in biopharma is actually not that new. Uh, a number of companies in the industry have already been using computer models for many years 
to reproduce, I would say, uh, humans' mental thinking and also perform various difficult tasks. Uh, what we are seeing right now, though, and we think we're entering a new era, is with the recent developments that we experienced and we saw in large language models, as these are becoming more advanced with the ability to work on very large data sets very quickly and accurately. Uh, we expect to see increased applications of AI in drug research and development in particular that we mentioned, but also for optimizing supply chains and manufacturing processes. So we think uh, the adoption of AI across biopharma could result in substantial cost savings and considerable revenue and margin expansion opportunities in the long run. And then what do you expect it to do to the R&D process? We know that can often be very lengthy for these drug makers. Uh, what's the case for how AI can kind of support or help that process? Yeah, that's a great question, Diane. So I think as researchers can have the possibility to develop cures to treat complex illnesses better and more quickly, there could be significant new sales opportunities in the futures. In the future, but where I think uh, we will see the fastest impact, it will be in the R and D spend, which has been on the rise due to increasing competition, but also rising costs to bring new products to market. We think what Gen AI offers is the promise to discover new molecule candidates more quickly, but also more accurately with the potential to lower the error margins, which in return will save time and costs to bring new therapies to markets. Uh, especially in an environment where biopharmaceutical companies spend roughly between 14 to 31% of their revenues in R&D to advance and develop new therapies, we think the promise of AI can speed up timelines and also improve accuracy and precision. All right, Sel, thank you so much. That's Sel Hardy, CFRA Research with insight on the proliferation of AI, in particular Gen AI and biopharma. Thank you, Sel.